What's the crack lads? Welcome back. What is new on Thursday? Well, we've got the same screen with the same legends. The legends don't come till Monday, but we do have new player of the week and the return of co-op. So we're going to get straight into that. We get our login bonus. We get our carnival campaign as well. You will get your last uh, Brazilian spin as well for the carnival campaign. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into that. But first, we will cover what's new in terms of the events and stuff like that. So we actually get a new Legend AI event that you see here in against the AI. You also have a national teams event and the rest of these are ongoing for another three days and six days, which we've completed. But this Legend event gives you 150,000 GP if you complete it. It's two matches or two campaigns, two events in it. And the national team event, once you complete that, you will get your free player of the week spin. So the player of the weeks are actually quite decent this week for a change, although there's a couple of choice... Uh, yeah, weird choices in there as well. eFootball League is continuing on until the 7th of March. So that is when we will probably get the next big major update because it's tied into those dates. So just keep plugging away at that. I mean, to be honest with you, eFootball League needs a big revamp anyway. We'll get into that in another video. In terms of everything else then as well, we do have the return of co-op, which I know a lot of people will like. Co-op is back with Team Play Fun, and of course you get your skill trainers and all of that there. So they've probably made a couple of additional changes to that. You also have online, you've got your another uh, national team, a teamed event. That's going to give you skill trainers and coins, 50 coins for your winning it the first time uh, or winning your first match. Now, on to everything else. We do have a couple of new objectives here or missions. If you are looking to clear those, they're still ongoing with the Carnival one. Um, you can score goals using the nationality uh, players that are nationality Brazil and you can do that online and offline to eventually get 50 coins so that's actually quite easy but a lot of people are forgetting that and we already talked about in the inbox then as well there's no real um, you know messages here or anything like that they just talk about a couple of issues with player appearances and stuff um, but the Brazil chance deal that we have here as well as the rest of the login bonus stuff that we've just got for logging in that Brazilian chance deal is going to give us the last spin for the Brazil Pack. So we'll get into that in a second, but also we do have the daily game. So if you guys have been logging in every day and scoring your penalty or even attempting the penalty, as we do here, we'll try and slot this home and keep it moving, which we do. We never miss those penalties. I think I've missed two and the rest I've just missed. You know, you can see the days here. I've actually missed just logging in a few days when I was away, but we actually are nearly there. And that chance deal is going to give you the free spin and the, the third player on this. So we have already got Maradona and Cobble. This is our free to play account. Costa Corta or Ronaldo will be joining next. You'd be hoping for Costa Corta, and then to be honest, you don't really need the, the free Ronaldo because he's just a you know a typical Ronaldo card. But I'd still like him. Obviously, it's a free card. Now on to the actual contract. Then itself, we do have the free Brazilian player, and we don't have any new legends. The legends don't come till Monday. We'll have a preview of those, but I will do a Monday preview video. They are the player of the weeks. There we already. Um, We'll have a brand new video on the player of the weeks because I think there's a couple of really nice uh, kind of like conversations to have about these player of the weeks here. I mean, the standout ones are Booster, Haaland, Rice and Bellingham. And I think they've finally started to realize the appeal of what the player of the week should be. And this kind of shows it here. Now, just one thing as a bit of a spoiler for my player of the week review. Haaland has still got 58 balance, lads. I don't know, man. It's just a terrible, terrible, terrible card, even with the booster there. Um, it's just really, really, really poor card, in my opinion. But the rest of the cards I will cover in full detail, as well as do spins. And then, of course, we do have the free Brazilian one here, as well as the standard inter. So the standard inter cards, they've been for the last one. But this will be the last Brazilian player. So you should have the five of these. So we already have four there. And now we are going to spin and get guaranteed Marquinhos. This Marquinhos is a beast. I mean, he's not end game level, but he is pretty up there. Like, he's an absolute monster, lads. He's so good. Trains up really, really nice with about 80,000 XP. And he's definitely worth it. So that is pretty much it, lads. It's kind of risk and, or risk, risk and reward. It's kind of rinse and repeat every week. There's no new jerseys. There's no nothing like that. You have everything still the same. There's no major update with anything else here, even to the live data update or anything like that. There's a couple of changes, but not really worth talking about. Same players in the shop. There's no new legends in the shop. There's no new strips. There's no nothing. You've got the same thing going on all the time. So these are off ending in 27 days are you know the last one this is going to be when we get a big revamp i think 20 days or so from now that is when the next big update is going to come in my opinion around the 7th of march because that's what's tied in with the eFootball league so you might be wondering as well we're actually just gonna hold on a second now i'm gonna hide this we're gonna switch over so we are over on eFootball db boys and this looks like it could be a trio of english guardians which is going to be lee dixon this is what we're predicting for monday we'll do a full video on it peter schmeichel booster is finally coming it looks like and per Murta Zacker the collar killer is going to be 
coming as well it looks like so yeah this is going to be a very interesting pack i mean apart from schmeichel who's kind of the dangling carrot there i think the other two boys are going to be not really worth it unless you're an arsenal fan but yeah schmeichel is going to be kind of like the main goalkeeper i think now even with his even with his training i think that he's going to have more levels than 27 and even at that he's going to be such a big beast of a keeper with huge reach and be able to hit 19 every single stat depending on what booster he gets i mean his stats are absolutely ridiculous, even at that. You know, he's clearing pretty much everything there um, that you could possibly want to clear. Like, apart from catching there, which is not really that important, everything is going to be plus 90, and that's without the booster. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. That is just a quick roundup of your weekly news or your weekly roundup. I will be back later on with a live stream. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the live stream later. Peace.